Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is uh, uh, another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model um, the cooling tower uh, in SAP 2000. So after we finish this uh, modeling to look on next analysis, such as time history analysis, to see the response of this structure. And also, we will use Abacus to uh, evaluate the behavior and also uh, the uh, frequencies and time period. So this is uh, about 117 meters diameter in the uh, bottom and 68 in the top. So we want to model this. So how we can model this? So this the bottom part is mostly used beam columns, and the top wall is shell elements. So we should create uh, this one. And I'm going to sub and selecting meter uh, grid only, and these two grid in the x, one in the y, and three in the z. So the x direction is equal this one divided by 2, uh, 58.5, uh, 58.5, and this is just as it is, keep it first. And now we can delete one of the uh, windows, and I can go to the one of the elevation. And now I want to give the height of uh, the height of the tower. So the height of tower is equal uh, the first column 30 meters, 30 meters, and the total height of the uh, cooling tower 162 meters. 162 meters. So I can say okay. Uh, so this is it. And now I want to create uh, two some nodes some joints one is here uh, which that node is equal uh, equal uh, the diameter the top damage divided by two in this point and the second is uh, a joint in this point so the z is minus 77 and this one minus uh, 65.3 and uh, then in the x direction we reduce that so we can choose this point and then create one node here so that first node is equal and the top divided by 2, which is uh, 68 meters. So divided by 2 becomes 34. So I'm going to push in one point here and we got one joint. And the second joint is here. We're putting, uh, uh, pressing here and then we go, got minus 1.35 and Z is equal to this height, 37 meters. And I'm going to give 37 minus 37 and I can put this point here now we created two point and uh, selecting this turn on the um, label okay um, now we're gonna select the drawing a curve uh, curve frame or element uh, selecting here and in a curve frame so i'm gonna select in this point and the last point so it will open another window and it asks me to choose so the line object is curve and i want to select parabolic uh, arc third point id so it will automatically select the third point on the ids too so I want to create a data curve in different points here. And now we created a curve. So the next, I want to delete this. I want to delete this node. So there's no need anymore. And select, take a, again, one straight line or straight frame. And from this point to this point, we need to just create the shell pause first. Uh, now I'm going to select uh, this these three joints and I'm going to edit and line called divide or break. So I'm using break it intersection and uh, that's okay and we want to delete this bottom part of the element 
so just we have this one. Now we can select all and select all and then go to edit and using extrude line to area. So using a radio and selecting that Z and the angle is T, the number is 36, which is the complete one circle. So I'm going to 3D and this is the shell part. So now we're going to go to the bottom for the column. Uh, we're gonna go to the here. I'm gonna rotate this. You can use this rotate. Uh, How we want to uh, draw the bottom columns. Now uh, we want to draw a joint, the special joint draw here. Create one joint and I want to uh, duplicate this joint into edit and call duplicate in uh, an audio using parallel to Z and the number is 10 the angle is also 10 so I'm going to keep do not delete okay so now we created it now we want to uh, draw uh, draw a beam in this between these two joint and next uh, I want to uh, select this again and from this to here to middle of this point I want to draw one uh, column okay and uh, rotate the ladle and just uh, taking uh, again this line and these two here. Now we can delete the bottom of this area, these parts, delete, and this is no need. And I want to uh, restrain this joint sign and go to joint restraint. And using fixed. Now um, I want to select the entire these uh, the columns and I'm going to duplicate using replicate here and totally using a radio parallel and the number is uh, 35 and uh, going to which we have 1 and 27 25 and the totally we created the entire columns. So now the modeling is completed so one more thing that uh, the uh, shell, the shell uh, axis should be a reverse on this side. Uh, I'm going to go to here, shell area, and call reverse axis. So I'm going to apply it. Now the color has changed. So now the model is completed. The model is completed, and you can go to uh, view here because the restraint is not shown. You can go to here and uh, click restrain. Now the modeling is completed, so we will um, conduct some analysis uh, and also defining some section, especially column and shell parts. So this is the modeling of uh, cooling tower. Um, this is very uh, uh, one of the most infrastructure in in uh, uh, developing countries. So that's all. If you have any question, please put in the comments. See you uh, for the next tutorial.